I say hi and welcome to the, my YouTube channel. And today we have the 18th of December. Yeah, I know I have the same t-shirt on as I had the previous three days, uh, but that's how it is. Uh, I'm pre-recording these videos because uh, as a, I don't want to sit Christmas Eve uh, um, making videos, stuff like that. I do want to say I bought this Christmas calendar on uh, Want to Sell Retro. You can see the link here. I will get on early information about why I made this specific label later on in the video. If you bought this uh, Christmas calendar from Want to Sell Retro, I do want to say don't watch this video to until after the 24th of December because I do not want to ruin your experience of unwrapping your packages. Oh, scratching. Because I don't know if everyone gets the same every day or he makes it up for, uh, for each package he made. So I'm going to nicely unwrap this package. Because, of course, he spent time wrapping them. Very neatly done, though. And then I am getting ready for my second surprise because I always open. Oh, I always open so I can see a bit of it here. But today it doesn't seem like I'm getting much. Okay, let's see what's in on this one. Realm of Chaos. I actually seen this game before, though I have never played it before. Cyber Chess, I'm pretty sure it's a chess uh, checker game. Darts, mm, don't know, but I'm pretty sure I know what it's about. Diamonds, I am, I'm actually, th I actually think I played that before. I, I think it's a game where you have a big map of dirt and with stones around uh, on the map. And there's also diamonds and you have to move, uh, to remove the dirt and you have to remove once, once you get under the stones, you are only able to move sideways because if you move down, the stone will fall down and kill you. Because um, that's a game I play a lot. Thunderhawk sounds like a helicopter simulator or... But uh, let's get it out of this uh, plastic sleeve. And of course, if you are living in Denmark, uh, we have a specific, do not throw this in the garbage. Uh, we have a specific spot in the recycling center where you put those uh, things. And I can see this cover has been cracked a bit, but it's okay. I'm going, not going to use the cover anyway, because this is going to go in the hot plastic recycling as well. I'm gonna put mine in these fancy uh, plastic covers, sleeves, or what do you call them? Um, Cause I am downsizing my game volume. Cause I want to have space for expansion, so to say. Um, yeah, just had to tell my wife there. So I'm putting my games in these uh, plastic sleeves so they take up less space and from what the website i am buying these plastic sleeves it says it's going to take up 70 percent less space and so far i can't give them well correct you're saving it a lot less space and of course i have this uh, note i made uh, it fits perfectly inside here and of course i'm going to put it in this sleeve as well so one month to a year down the line I'm gonna go and find this game and say, I wanna play this game. And then I can see, oh, yeah, this is where I bought it and stuff like that. Here's more for information for myself because I like to have my, my collection in order. Though my office don't say I have things in order because uh, it's, no. <laughs> this stack here, I just, uh, I just got from a friend and he said uh, I could keep them or I could sell them and stuff like that. So I am in the order of sorting these and putting them in my own web shop. Um, the things I sell, of course, I go to sponsoring my own game collection. 
So this is going to go neatly in my box. I will build the box between New, new Christmas and New Year. So I'll make I'll make a video about me making that as well. So that was it for today, and I thank you for watching, and um, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>